We are finding new ways to enjoy an iconic holiday candy that you may have a lot of around the house right now. And there's probably gonna be lots of leftovers after Christmas Day. But Kyla found a couple of ways to upcycle candy canes. What did you try out, Kyla? Well, you know, like you said, Tati, they're either around the house or on the tree, or I actually like to have a candy cane for, you know, in the morning as a little sweet minty treat. I found a way to incorporate these candy canes into my morning routine. Everything we're going to do calls for crunched up or broken candy canes. So let's relieve a little stress. That was fun. Let's get started. First, we're going to make candy cane syrup. In a pot, you put a half a cup of water and six broken up candy canes. Heat it up until it boils. After the candy canes have dissolved, you turn off the heat and you set it aside for a while so it can cool. Before I use my candy cane syrup, I'm going to make a candy cane rimmed glass. For this, you need something sticky to rim the glass with, so I'm using simple syrup. Once you rim the glass with simple syrup, then you move it over to the broken candy cane. Now that that's done, I'm going to make a cold coffee drink with the candy cane syrup that I just made. But wait, there's more. Let's make candy cane coffee creamer. Use a half a cup of half and half, two tablespoons of crushed candy cane, and one tablespoon of sugar. And then you shake it until the candy canes are dissolved. All right, so how did the syrup turn out? Not good. Okay. <laughs> I oh, really? Think that, I think that I didn't use enough of the candy canes to get like that viscosity, the, mm. that thicker um, texture that I was looking for. It was very watery, but I mean, it still had a minty taste from my cold coffee drink. Mm. But I just wish it was a mm. I think I probably should have used a couple more candy canes. Or maybe just <laughs> boiled it down a little longer, giving it a chance to kind mm -hmm. of thicken up. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm not the cook, but it's all you good. know. We <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's what that's what quarantine is all about. Like see exactly. it. Exactly. Try, try it out. out. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Out Tuesday is all about. It's just trying it out and sometimes it works and sometimes, sometimes it, it doesn't. doesn't. But okay, so uh, Michelle, so you had a question about the coffee creamer? Yeah, so does the candy cane actually dissolve into the creamer? And if so, what does it taste like? Because it seems like it's cold, right? The creamer, or do you heat it up? What do you do? No, it's cold. You, you use it at room temperature and you shake it and it does dissolve. So it did dissolve and it made this pretty um, pink color. And I haven't tried it yet, so I wanted to try it on air. I have Ooh, yes. the coffee here. I have the creamer inside and a Splenda-like sweetener as well um so i'm gonna try it and see how, okay i can already smell the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i love the candy cane rim by the way that was so cute on that cup so what does it taste like i've actually had that before um it tastes like uh it tastes minty it has it like a, a little bit of a hint of a mint to it um i know like one of my friends she loves peppermint uh creamer it's not uh necessarily that pepperminty so I think yeah. it all depends yeah. on how pepperminty you want it to be. All right, Put very as much interesting, as very creative for the holidays. Everyone will definitely have candy canes left over and uh, maybe they'll try it out for themselves. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, thank you.